Have you ever wondered why Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, boasts a whopping 92 moons while our home planet, Earth, has only one? A fascinating question, isn't it? We're all familiar with Earth's solitary moon, the beacon in our night sky. But what if I told you that the gas giant Jupiter, the behemoth of our solar system, is orbited by an astounding 92 moons? It's quite the astronomical disparity. The number of moons orbiting a planet can tell us a lot about its composition, history, and position in the solar system. But why such a vast difference between Earth and Jupiter? Is it due to their size, their location, or something else altogether? We're about to embark on a journey through the cosmos, exploring these celestial bodies, their origins, and the intriguing reasons behind their number. So buckle up, space enthusiasts. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this celestial mystery. Before we jump into the whys and hows, it's essential to understand what exactly moons are. Moons, often referred to as natural satellites, are celestial bodies that orbit around a planet, much like the way planets orbit around stars. They're fascinating remnants of our solar system's formation, acting as historical records that have witnessed billions of years of cosmic events. The formation of moons is typically a result of three processes. First, they could form from the disk of dust and gas that surrounds a young planet, much like planets form around stars. Second, a moon could be a captured object, a rogue asteroid or comet that strayed too close and was pulled in by a planet's gravitational force. Lastly, some moons are born out of catastrophic collisions between a planet and another celestial body. And what about their role in the solar system? Well, moons do more than just light up our night sky. They help stabilize their planet's wobble on its axis, contributing to a stable climate. They also generate tides, influencing life on Earth in more ways than one. Speaking of Earth, our lone moon is a unique celestial body. It's the fifth largest moon in the solar system and is believed to have formed from the debris left over after a Mars-sized body collided with Earth around four and a half billion years ago. Now that we've got the basics covered, let's move on to the interesting part. Jupiter, the giant of our solar system, is not just known for its size. This colossal planet, which is over 11 times the diameter of Earth, is a celestial marvel that commands our fascination in numerous ways. One of the most intriguing aspects of Jupiter is its moon count, a staggering 92. But why does Jupiter have so many moons? The answer lies in its gravity. Gravity, as we know, is the force that pulls objects towards each other. The more massive an object is, the greater its gravitational pull. Now imagine the gravitational force of Jupiter, a planet that's more than 300 times the mass of Earth. This immense gravity acts like a cosmic lasso, attracting and capturing celestial bodies that wander too close. In the early days of our solar system, the region surrounding Jupiter was a busy place, teeming with space debris left over from the formation of the planets. These pieces of rock, ice and dust were drawn towards Jupiter, caught in the planet's gravitational pull. Over time, these objects settled into orbits around Jupiter, becoming its moons. But Jupiter's gravity does more than just capture moons. It also plays a crucial role in their formation. Some of Jupiter's moons, including the four largest known as the Galilean moons, are believed to have formed from a circumplanetary disk of gas and dust that surrounded Jupiter in its youth. This process, similar to how planets form around stars, resulted in a diverse collection of moons, each with its unique characteristics and mysteries. From the volcanic activity of Io to the icy surface of Europa, the moons of Jupiter offer a fascinating glimpse into the diverse environments that exist within our solar system. Each one a testament to the awesome power of Jupiter's gravity. 
As we can see, Jupiter's massive gravity plays a significant role in its moon count. It's not just about the planet itself, but also where it's located in the solar system. The role of a planet's position and size in the solar system is an often overlooked yet crucial factor when it comes to the number of moons it has. Take Jupiter, for instance. This gas giant is the largest planet in our solar system, and it's situated in an ideal location to attract and capture a multitude of moons. Jupiter's massive size, greater than all other planets combined, enables it to have a strong gravitational field. This gravitational pull allows Jupiter to capture passing objects, often turning them into moons. The planet's position, beyond the frost line, where ices like water, methane and ammonia can freeze, also provides a wealth of material for moon formation. Now let's contrast this with our home, Earth. Earth is much smaller in size and closer to the Sun. Its gravitational pull is significantly weaker than Jupiter's, limiting the number of objects it can capture. Moreover, our planet's position within the frost line means there's less material available for moon formation. So when it comes to the question of why Jupiter has 92 moons and Earth only one, the answer lies not only in the planets themselves, but also in their position and size. The location and size of a planet are crucial factors in determining its moon count. But how do these moons end up orbiting Jupiter, you might ask? Well, the journey of a moon is a fascinating cosmic ballet, composed of gravity, velocity and cosmic timing. Moons are often captured by the immense gravitational pull of a planet. Picture a celestial body like an asteroid or a comet passing near a planet. If the planet's gravitational field is strong enough, it can snag the celestial object from its path and capture it into an orbit, turning it into a moon. Jupiter, being the largest planet in our solar system, has a massive gravitational pull, making it a champion at moon catching. It's like a cosmic vacuum cleaner, pulling in anything that ventures too close. Now, what about our home planet, Earth? The process of moon capture is less likely to occur here, primarily due to Earth's size and position. Earth, being smaller than Jupiter, has a weaker gravitational pull, making it less likely to snag wandering celestial bodies. Furthermore, our position in the solar system also plays a part. We're closer to the Sun, which has its own powerful gravitational field. This means any potential moon would need to navigate not just Earth's gravity, but also the Sun's, making capture a far more unlikely event. So in this cosmic dance where size and position matter, Earth ends up with one moon, while Jupiter boasts a whopping 92. The journey of a moon is truly an intriguing path. While Earth may not boast a high moon count, our lone moon has its unique charm. This celestial companion, the only natural satellite of our planet, is more than just a pretty face in our night sky. It's a key player in Earth's story. It's responsible for the ebb and flow of our ocean tides, helping shape our world's natural rhythms. It provides a mirror for Earth's sunlight, illuminating our nights with a gentle glow. Its gravitational pull even stabilizes Earth's axial tilt, ensuring a consistent climate for life to thrive. But the Moon offers more than just earthly benefits. It's a stepping stone into the great unknown. It's been our first stop in space exploration, and it remains a potential gateway for future journeys deeper into the cosmos. Our moon may not be as numerous as Jupiter's swarm of satellites, but it's no less fascinating. It's a celestial body with a purpose, an integral part of our planetary system. Our moon may be solitary, but it's certainly significant. So, we've journeyed through the solar system, uncovering the secrets behind the moon count. We've marveled at the mightiness of Jupiter with its staggering 92 moons, a testament to its immense gravitational pull and its favorable position in the solar system. We've also understood how these moons, each with its unique journey, 
have come to orbit this gas giant, forming a miniature solar system of their own. In contrast, we've explored our home planet, Earth, with its solitary but highly influential moon. We've seen how its singular presence has shaped life as we know it, from the ebb and flow of tides to the evolution of species. But why this stark difference in the number of moons? It all boils down to the interplay of position and size, Jupiter being the largest planet in our solar system and positioned further from the Sun, has a stronger gravitational pull and a larger region of influence. This allows it to capture more moons. Earth, on the other hand, is smaller and closer to the Sun, limiting its ability to attract and retain multiple moons. In essence, each moon, each planet, each celestial body is a piece of the cosmic puzzle, contributing to the beauty and mystery of our universe. Remember, in the vastness of the cosmos, every celestial body, be it a planet or a moon, has its unique tale to tell.